Okay, now we all are excited about the upcoming One UI 5.0 based on Android 13 and eagerly waiting for the first beta release of the all new iteration of this major upgrade and guess what? This time the beta release is expected to be rolled out in the third week of July as confirmed by Sam Mobile. Now this is sooner than expected because the last year's One UI 4.0 beta release happened during September and October depending on the markets. However, this time since the Android 13 developer preview came out early, Samsung is expected to release the One UI 5.0 beta earlier than last year. Now before we talk about the new features, a sub and a like for this video would be much appreciated. And there is another video I made regarding the eligible Samsung devices for One UI 5.0. If you want to know whether your phone is eligible for this upgrade, check out that video. I have left a link in the description. Now coming to the upcoming features on One UI 5.0, though we do not have concrete details on it, we can expect most of the new features from Android 13 which are previewed on Google's Pixel phones to hit the Galaxy phones. As of now, there is one particular rumor which is floating on the internet that's about the navigation animations on One UI 5.0. Apparently, Samsung is expected to tweak the navigation animations to make it look faster and feel much better. And we can expect the overall animations to be faster this time on One UI 5.0, though we can tweak the animations through developer settings on the phone. Having a faster yet visually pleasing animations by default would make more sense. Then a few other features which we have seen on Pixel phones are expected to hit the One UI. We can expect better color palette customization and improved color palette theming for all system as well as third party icons, a new media control with an all new progress bar, new language settings for applications, we can set different languages to different applications depending on our preferences. We may also get a wallpaper picker feature which allows us to pick one of the few recently set wallpapers on the home screen. Another cool feature which may come to One UI is the photo picker. This is basically a privacy feature which lets us pick specific images or videos from the gallery to which a particular application will have the access to. This restricts any application to have a complete access to the gallery. And then under productivity feature, we have a new copy and paste UI which can display a standard visual confirmation when content is added to the clipboard. We get to see preview of the copied contents here. Then we can expect predictive back gesture feature. This feature will let us preview the destination or other results of a back gesture allowing us to decide whether to continue or stay in the current view. Currently on Android 12, when we execute back gesture, it directly takes us to the home screen. Whereas with the new feature, we will be able to preview the home screen here. These are some of the features we can expect, but not sure which ones will eventually make it to One UI 5.0. Apart from these, Samsung may enhance the existing features on One UI, maybe more customization features, added Bixby routines features, enhance Samsung Dex features and some more features on camera application. And yeah, more features on good lock modules could also come. Let's hope for a real deal this time. I will post interesting videos as soon as the beta arrives on the Galaxy S22 Ultra so stay tuned, subscribe to the channel and smash the like button if you find this video informational. Thanks for watching, my name is Salian signing off, you guys take care and stay safe, cheers, bye bye.